bye guys i didn't see you there so excuse the mess on my bed i should have done my bed hold up rewind <laughs> hi guys i didn't see you there it's your girl crystal lynn Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a snowy day. It's really pretty outside. I'm actually right by my window. So it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, bruh. I like this little vibe I got going on. How to move on from pain. Let's get started. Alright, so first and foremost, you do not settle for less. Do not settle for less ever ever if you know you deserve the world do not settle for less um settling for less will leave you a mess because you know what you deserve you have you have your standards do not lower those standards because you're feeling lonely or you want to be loved or whatever the case may be do not settle for less it will leave you a mess literally been there done that not doing that you know um another thing is when we get hurt we seek closure we want we want to seek that closure that that um you know that apology from that person who hurt us or we want that person to realize you know hey i messed up and a lot of the times those people aren't gonna give us that you know you have to stop expecting that like, stop expecting things from people especially people who are the thing is, a lot of people who do, like, a lot of people who cause us pain um, have been through pain. The thing is, they are not, the, the difference um, between those, like, someone who wants to heal and someone who is in pain is that the person with pain doesn't reflect their pain within they what they do is they detach themselves and they think that by trying to keep away from people or blocking people or being heartless or detaching themselves it's gonna help them but in fact they become the person that hurt them and we don't want to be that kind of person we're trying to heal yes there's pain but there's growth and pain and therefore we have to evolve and accept that pain and and we have to find that within. We have to give ourselves that closure. We have to tell ourselves, let's forgive this person for ourselves. Not because, you know, we want that person to acknowledge us and give us worth. No, when you know your worth, you don't have to find it in other people. You find that within. Um, so, um, basically, the only closure, the only closure that you need is understanding that you deserve better. The second you know you deserve better, and you should always know that, um, is the second that you know that, you know what, I'm going to stop looking and waiting and hoping that this person will understand that I deserve better, but instead focus on myself and know I deserve better, so I'm going to do better, and I'm not going to be bitter, I'm going to be better. You know, a lot of people stay bitter, stay in that pain, they stay stuck in that pain, and that's not what we're trying to do, we're trying to evolve, we're trying to come up, you know, and yeah. Now, the hard part about pain is that something is being removed, there's withdrawals there's things that are happening that you're not used to because you're you're so accustomed to something a certain type of way and then the second that's removed it's like you feel like you can't live without it for example a person you know you have a routine with that person already you have a way of living you have when you wake up you know you have certain things you do and and when that that person is removed or or, you know, you go through that loss and that griefing um, aspect of it. It's hard and it's literally like a drug. Like when someone is addicted to drugs and they remove the drugs, you go through withdrawals. It's the same thing with pain. You're going to go through withdrawals. You're going to you're going to feel weird. Like well, this is not this is uncomfortable. This is not what I'm used to. But you have to keep moving forward. Like time will heal you like little by little, little by little. You're going to like 
find that healing and it's hard it's it's hard to say it to someone because I've been in the shoes of like you don't want to hear that like no I just want my drug back I just I just why can't I just have that why do I have to go through this pain but life is teaching you something right now that person that hurt you or that person that left you or that person that is causing you pain is teaching you something about yourself that you would never like there's they say i read i read so i read this somewhere they spoke about why is it that are you attracting certain people in your life and a lot of the times that we attract certain people in our lives is because those people um those people are making us recognize the things we need to heal within ourselves so they're they're tr they're triggering certain parts of ourselves that we have to heal within us and if we didn't have that person to cause the pain and to push those buttons we wouldn't realize that we need to change certain things about ourselves as well so at the end of it it's it's a blessing in disguise because although it hurts you grow and then you look back and you thank yourself like I'm glad I went through that experience. I'm glad I met that person. Although they caused me pain, I have become, I, I'm not the person I used to be mentally, like, you know, emotionally, like you grow. So sometimes when you attract certain people, not saying that you should surround yourself around assholes because that's never a good thing, but just try to understand that this person is trying to show you something about yourself and um yeah i when i heard that i was like wow because i'm like i don't understand like i'm such an amazing person and i love so hard and then it's like i'm attracting these boys and these assholes and it's like why the hell is this happening to me and then when i read that i'm like wow that's kind of true because you know i was kind of like losing my self-worth and getting lost and in someone else and and not valuing my valuing myself and understanding that i'm so worthy of so much more you know so it's just certain things that um yeah bring light to certain situations you know sometimes no one wants pain i mean all the time we never want pain but look at it look at little, little i cannot talk look at it this way wouldn't you prefer being in a situation where it's only temporary like you know what i'm in pain right now but it's temporary because i know that i'm healing and i know that i'm changing so many things and i'm moving up in life and this is this is not gonna stay this way you know i'm, I'm learning and i'm growing instead of being like this hurts but i don't want to change it and i and i just want to be here and this is what i want and you're not you're not open-minded you're just stuck in your ways and you, you just and you're with someone who's causing you pain, but you don't want to let that person go because you love them and you think that's love. And love is, is not pain. Like, love doesn't hurt. Love heals. Love, everyone needs love. And, and love doesn't cause all this pain and heartache. That's, that's the toxic relationship. That's not love. You know, so... Um, Sometimes it's better to be alone than to be with someone who makes you feel like you're alone, if that makes sense. I've been in situations where I can be sitting next to someone and I've never felt so alone in my entire life, never felt so neglected and abandoned, and I'm sitting right next to this person. I'd rather sit by myself and be content with myself alone and enjoy my own company then have some other asshole sit next to me and make me feel that way you that is not you don't deserve that you deserve if you're gonna be feeling if you're gonna if you're gonna be with someone allow that person in your space because they add value to your life they add value to your life they, they bring love to your life they they bring comfort and and, and don't confuse that this is the mistake we make do not confuse that with, okay, a lot of the times people say, oh, you complete me. Oh, you bring me my happiness. 
a la 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 and I've been there so I'm not you know I'm not shaming anyone we all go through things and we all learn from our experiences but I've learned this one thing don't allow anyone to complete you you complete you be complete alone with yourself and then someone can come in your life and add value to you it's supposed to be a bonus you're supposed to be happy already alone and a lot of the times people don't know how to be alone a lot of the times people are seeking happiness in other people they don't know how to heal themselves they don't know how to be alone for a while and, fi and, and find themselves and heal within to then be able to love themselves and then uh, love someone else and that's that's where a lot of a lot of relationships go go sour because you might be with someone who has not healed from their trauma so then they take that out on you and then it's like i'm just trying to love this person but this person doesn't know how to communicate this person doesn't know how to be emotionally stable this person doesn't know how to really love me the way i'm trying to love them and a lot of the times people jump from relationship to relationship because why because they have they haven't they haven't found a way to heal that within and let me tell you if you don't know how to be happy alone and love yourself and heal yourself and reconstruct yourself when you have been stripped down you need to learn how to put the pieces back together alone with you because if not you're always going to be seeking someone to help you do that you came onto this world alone you are gonna die alone no one no one came out of your mom's vagina with you you came on this earth alone you have to be happy alone <clears throat> and uh, being alone does not equal loneliness <clears throat> a lot of people get that confused they think i'm alone i'm so lonely no i i spend a lot of time alone and i'm happy and i enjoy my own company it doesn't mean that i'm lonely if i'm spending time alone spending time alone is very 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 healthy you recognize what you need within you kind of silence the world out figure out what makes you happy forget about what she said forget about what social media is telling me i need forget about what my parents want me to do forget about what my friends think i should do how am i feeling and what do i want you know um and it's okay to be alone it's okay to not have anybody by your side or you know yeah like i'm not saying you know solitary and confinement and just isolate yourself from the whole world and just never talk to anybody again no you can't block love out because you you might be hurt and you think blocking love out is going to help you be less hurt but then it also doesn't allow love to come in or to come out you're just it's a two-way thing and that is how you will learn that when someone walks out of your life it does not budge it does not move you so much had it been years before when you were not content with yourself because you seeked happiness in other people and the second someone walked out on you you just self-destruct because you built yourself up because that person helped you or because that person was present no 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 no, no. we're not doing that no more 2019 you can walk out on me but i know i'm worthy i'm deserving of better things and greater things and i know who i am i know what i bring to the table so if you want to walk out i'm happy more than happy to eat alone because i know what i bring to the table and I, and I know what i have to offer and if you can't see that someone else will Thank you for watching. If you guys truly enjoyed this video, let me know. I will be making more videos like this. I truly do enjoy It's like very therapeutic for me. Um, so I love it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time. Bye guys. I love you. Mwah.